Okay, this, we'll just talk. Just look, look over here and we'll just talk. Mm -hmm. If you could tell me, uh, just so the editor knows who you are, can you tell us your full name and where you're born? I'm Zachary Lewis, and I was born at Stafford Hospital in Palo Alto, California. And how do you spell your first name? Z-A-C-H-A-R-Y. Cool. And how do you, how do you did you know uh, David Lewis? Uh, he's my father. I'm his youngest son. So you're the youngest? Yeah. How many kids are all together? How many are there? There's four. Four kids? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And um, what's your earliest memories of your father? Um, I really didn't talk to my dad. You know, we was going through a little issues, but uh, I seen him um, the 28th, uh, a little bit after my birthday. I saw him for a little bit, but, you know. So, so when you were a little kid growing up, was he not much in the home then? He you? was. Uh, he was around for me because um, I was the last one, so he'd come get me and stuff, and I'd go spend weekends with him, and stuff like that, and then I actually started living with him for a little while. So, oh, you did? Yeah. In your earliest memories, what kind of, what did he look like? He sounded like, everybody had a different opinion of what David Lewis looked like. Uh, he looked, you know, big, tall guy, bald head, the white mustache and stuff like that, so. Some people say that's intimidating in a way. Huh? For them, you know. <laughs> but he, uh, I mean, because he was my dad, so it was different, you know. I mean, he had his intimidation, but not, <laughs> You know, not that bad, you know, not to me at least, you know. Yeah. So you guys were able to talk and stuff? Yeah, yeah, I, I mean, if I needed him, I'd call him, you know, he'd be there for me. You know, it wasn't like if I didn't, you know, if he, if I needed my dad, he will be there for me. It wasn't like he wasn't there, you know. He just, we kind of had a little misunderstanding and something we should have talked about, but we didn't because we both are stubborn, so. <laughs> sort of the DNA a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Yeah, I'm like him, so, you know, we all are. You know, we all got our different ways like him, so one thing is all of us is stubborn like him, so, yeah, that was one thing. I wish I could, you know, turn it around and call him and wish I could have had the relationship, but, you know, he knows I love him and stuff. The, um... When you were a, a kid, what kind of stuff did you guys did you go to ball games together? Uh, I went to one. We went to a stamp like a thing was Stanford. It was uh, but um, not really. I mean, I go hang out. Just being with him was cool for me when I was younger. Just going, him picking me up for the weekend and you know he'd take me shopping and whatnot. So you know I had fun with him. You know we, he took me and my cousin to uh, Marine Row one year and let us just. Have a ball, so yeah. Did he uh, give you advice over the years? Yeah, he talks to me all the time. You know, um, he he did give me a lot of advice, and you know, just trying to teach me what he knew. You know, if somebody says like, "Who's this David Lewis guy?" What would you say? A great person, a really great, a good person that you know, whose life was took short. You know. Seemed like he, he had a lot, he touched a lot of people's lives in different ways. Huh? Yeah, he did. He touched a lot of people. A lot of people. He he did. If you were gonna describe him in just a, one or two or three words, what words come to your mind? Um, it's you know, like I said, you know, it's just like he's a good, good, great person. You know, um, magnificent. He all. Uh, helpful you know he always wanted to help somebody that's why i'm glad he's actually resting now and he can actually think about himself and for once in his life you know because he was always trying to worry about somebody if it was his kids you know somebody from his job something like that he was always worried about somebody else he sort of took it personal in a way did I take it personal? No, did he? He took it personal about caring about. Other he people. cared about, you know. He cared. He he took it. Yeah, he took it there. Like he was really personal, you know, because he wanted everybody to just, you know, he felt like everybody deserves a second chance, no matter what they did. It's so. almost an American thing, second chances in a way. Yeah. Mm hmm Yeah. If you had an opportunity to say something to him now, what would you take? What would you say to him? Do you think? I would tell him I love him, and I would, you know apologize for any of the things that I did to make our relationship go where it went. So, yeah. He's a forgiving type guy. Um, yeah. He I never really had to, you know, really to like say it, so I really can't don't know, but from what I've heard, yeah, cuz 
he helps people get second chances. So, you know, I'm pretty sure. But thanks a lot for taking the time. Mm -hmm. I'll get, make sure you get a copy of the film and everything. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you very much.